Tonight, KETC is getting answers about why Slimco electric bills skyrocketed in the last month. Many of you reached out to us saying your bills doubled, even tripled between December and January. And despite two freezes in the last month, some of you said those bills must be a mistake. Justice Henderson is in Karen Crow getting answers. These are just a few bills we have received of Slimco customers, some of them ranging between five and six hundred dollars. My wife called Slimco. She didn't get her answer. All I want to know is why, because we don't sleep with the heater on. Tanya Sundberg says she was at her house only six days this month and had her thermostat set at 68. She wants to know why her bill nearly doubled while she wasn't home. When I'm not home, anything that doesn't need to be on, I cut it off at the breaker. So if all that's off, I'm still trying to figure out how my bill goes up that high. So we went to Slimco for answers. What we want to help them know and understand is that it's directly related to the cold weather and the heating systems that are running and it's the usage that has increased. We have not arbitrarily raised anyone's bills or charged anybody anymore. Uh, what we suggest people do is look at their usage to see that it's gone up and all of that's a reflection of what the temperatures have done. Slimco even gave us these documents showing the daily temperatures in January dating back to 2015. That data shows this January's temperatures are the lowest in that span. And when temperatures are in the teens and 20s, your heating system will run if it's turned on and your thermostat is set. We understand this happens traditionally every time we have a really bad winter and it's been a long time since we've had one uh, this harsh. In Karen Crow, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. Meanwhile, the Kaplan Utility System will help its customers with their high bills. The City Council approved an ordinance allowing customers to set up payment plans for those customers who can't pay their bills in full. And if you have a story you want us to get answers on, email us anytime at gettinganswers at ktctv.com.